Hello, brother. It's Shocker into 1000 and reporting for duty. Welcome to back another episode of Nintendo Wii's Cats. Last time, we got um, put into a cutscene of Ivlet making South Portville and North Portville rain non stop. And we've been tasked to find this flower that you just saw for a split second highlighted in the blue circle. But we didn't have any um, sardines to take us to that island. In this episode, we're going to be going to that island. Now, as we're going over there, I can honestly say this. Um, off camera, I've been doing some stuff in this game. I've been trying to not just find research on where to find all the special fruit and veg. But also, where... Hang on, like, hang on, sorry. I, well, I've been researching where you find the special mangoes, pineapples, watermelons, tomatoes, carrots, and potatoes. And I've actually got a list right now of where all of them are located. But the majority of them are listed to be found in areas we've actually not been to yet. So I'm not going to go into full detail, but the only areas at the minute that we have gone into at the moment is Dolphin Coast, Lappy Lake, Jade Fields, and Tail Heights, but we didn't fully explore Tail Heights. So anyway, we've got the flower. Our cat showing their curious nose. And yeah, stood on the pedestal to plant the flowers, we're gonna jump down again. Hmm. But there we go, it stopped raining. And we received two so seven hundred and fifty gold because of that. It, it, and I just realized, I actually was uh, wasting my time to catch two sardines so I could ride the dolphin back and forth. I only needed the one. So if Ivala is left to his own devices much longer, he may well end up destroying the entire world. Oh god, that doesn't sound good. Yep, I agree. Then you need to go see Theophilus. Uh, the, hang on, Theophilus. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's the magic professor, a researcher of magic. I don't think anyone in the entire world knows more about magic than that cat. You sure he'll be able to... Okay. Oh, new area, Sky Heights. That's actually one of the... Um... Actually, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> I was just looking at the list of the special fruit and veg, and Sky Heights is actually not listed under any of them. Oh, it lies beyond Tail Heights. Okay. Uh, yes, I would like to say, because I have actually grabbed a good amount of special pineapples and watermelons off camera. And I actually have about three special pineapples left to get and seven special watermelons left but only nine special mangoes Hang on. there we go so yeah the lo the locations where you find the special fruit in lappy lake tail fields and tail uh, tail fields in lappy lake jade fields and tail heights you can find yourself a special watermelon but it's not guaranteed. For the pineapple, you can find them in Dolphin Coast mainly, and two other areas that we've not yet explored. Same for the mango. But the mango is located in three areas we've not yet to explore. As for the special veg, I think, was we able to encounter a special carrot? I don't know, I'll have to have a look. So if I go, actually hang on, we can just change our cat now because it stopped raining. But yeah, 
You notice we encountered a special tomato in Jade Fields. There's another one found in, in Tail Heights. So, yeah. Right, let's go change our kitty. Oh yeah, also off camera, I actually got some bright thread after catching myself um, a chick. And we got flowery kimono. Okay. Right then, so hat. I think, can we take ours off? I think... Hang on, uh, let's see, oh, yeah. I want to know exactly how you take your character's, um, things off. Yeah, excuse me. How do you do it? I honestly have no idea how you do it. Oh, oh, oh God. Do we actually have to go inside our house? I think that's the case. We might have to go inside our house. I don't know. Oh my god, I have no idea. Where do we get changed? I haven't got to... Wait, search? Oh. There's just an area where you can save. Alright. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out off camera. Actually, wait. Hang on. Pause. Probably inventory. Accessories. No, it seems like once we put something on, it's stuck on us for good. Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Hang on. Never mind. Strip. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. Right, back to Lappy Lake we go. Why is there always banana sitting down there? Oh, watermelon! Yeah! Oh, it's not a special one. But actually, I want to go over to this. Oh god, oh! Okay, we just dodged that alligator. Is there something important on this island? I uh, don't see it. Oh, hang, hang on. A cucumber. <laughs> okay, okay, that's pretty darn funny. Right, let's catch this animal. Hiding in the grass. Got bent frame. Okay. But we have an animal here. Talk to the monkey. Oh, and a game of dodgeball. All right. Toss balls at each other in an attempt to score points. Points are rewarded for hitting your opponent with a ball. Press A while holding a ball to throw it. You can carry up to five balls at once. If you run out of balls, return to the supply point to pick up more. Okay. <laughs> we were ready to bounce the monkey. <laughs> Ready, go. Hey, hey, hey. There. Serves you right, monkey. Ow. Dodgeball. Dodgeball. You got hit. 
You're gonna hit nine times. You should be sitting on the side by now. Ah, you missed. Ow. I do like how he's doing a little curveball. But yeah, we have 40 seconds left to see who can score the most points. Ow. We got whipped on the butt. Ow, right in the face. Ow. <laughs> I do love playing dodgeball, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, you're being cheeky, monkey, aren't you? Spanking your butt at us. Ow. But yeah, that's actually your word of advice with this game. You can win easily by taking full on advantage of your opponent going to the corner to pick up their balls. And we got 230 points! 230 points! Yeah, I know I can do a little bit better than that, but it doesn't really matter. 2.30 is still good enough for me. Yeah. Were we having fun or was I bugging you? <laughs> uh, I was having fun, I don't know about you. And yeah, that's actually the only animal here on Lappy Lake. So I'm actually going to go to this middle island real quick because there has been a moment where I have been getting a watermelon over there. I just want to see if it's... if there's one over here. The answer is no. Okay. Right, onwards to Tail Heights. We actually get to explore that area once and for all. And hope to actually find some more special watermelons. In fact, in fact, Tail Heights actually is the only location that watermelons are to be found. The special fruit and veg, not a single one is to be found in there apart from tomato and watermelon. But your name is Toby, alright. I live here with my wife Daisy, um, and how come you're not sharing a house? How come you're in a different house? Oh, your wife's caught a bad cold. He was heading to South Portville to buy some cough medicine, but you've got the same cold. Okay. It's hitting you so hard that you can hardly move. That is like one thing that I hate more than anything in the world. Oh, we've unlocked the Wolves of Tail Heights! Oh yeah, I forgot. We can just warp there now. Uh... I see, there they are. See, look, there's Daisy, there's Toby. And you see, they're not even sharing a house. They're living in their own separate houses. Why? Alright, let's give the warp a try. So this is actually what it looks like here. You see, we've got six areas that we can actually warp to. At the moment, we can only warp to Tail Heights and South Poreville. So, we're going to walk straight to South Portville to save us some time. But of course, I'm still going to walk through Lappy Lake to see if we can find any special watermelons and possibly some carrots. Uh, why is it every single time we need something, they're always all out? This is just back to back, walking back and forth. We had to go through Lappy Lake to go to Tail Heights, and then go back to Lappy Lake from... Hang on. So wait. We go from South Portville to Lappy Lake to then Tail Heights, get told we have to go back to South Portville, possibly through Lappy Lake, but we use the warp, and now we have to go to Lappy Lake again just to find some thyme. Honestly. See what I mean by having to do too much backtracking? It's not fun. Really is not fun. Wow. 
Once again, Banana's sitting right there. Oh! This ward special? No, it's not! Come on! Why is it? That's, it? That's actually the problem with the special fruit and veg. They look exactly the same as the normal fruit and veg, that you can't even tell the difference. The only way you can tell that it's a special is if you're holding onto the B button and your character's not moving as you pick something up, then it's official that you've actually found a special something. Alright, so no special, but we found the time. So automatically get taken to the drugstore. And I believe after we get the cough medicine, we will automatically be taken straight to Tail Heights. Uh, what do you think that cough medicine looks like? Is that to me? It looks like a love letter but Chinese edition. Oh well. Uh, I didn't save the pair of you, you just had a cold, okay? And with that quest now done, we've now got six hearts in total. You can't do much to repay you, but you fit. Wait. Wait, hang on, hang on. You said you was not even able to move because of your cold. How come you immediately say you fixed up the path leading to Tail Heights, even though we were just busy getting cough medicine for you? You couldn't fix anything if you had a cold. So really, he could move, he was just faking it. Well, where are we heading? Yeah, we're heading all the way to Sky Heights. You'll see a windmill on your way through Tail Heights then. That windmill is the gate into Sky Heights. You can get through to Sky Heights from there. It's quite a long way away, but just keep on aiming for the windmill. Alright, thank you, Toby. Yes, we'd like to save. I know I don't really uh, like saving on video a lot, but when it comes to this game, you can pretty much tell. Uh, yes, continue playing. And oh, we got a rock here. It's got four poor points. That's a level four push rock. And there's a new item over there that we can dig up. But unfortunately, we can't. And hang on, wait, I just thought. Uh oh. That blue snake. Those blue snakes can actually poison you when they attack you. I probably should have bought Antidote when I had the chance. But unfortunately I didn't. Right, this is a new fishing spot, so let's see what fish we can get here. Here, yeah, fishy. Here we go. Oh, it's a big one. A big fish in a tiny pond. Come on, come on, almost there, got it. Black bass, yeah we'll send that to the aquarium, sure. Uh, right, I'm gonna have to be careful here. Right, nothing special down that way, okay. Oh, something new down this way. Uh, flower that I can't even pronounce. Whoa, whoa, god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Uh. 
Yeah, those... Oh, God, he's guarding a watermelon. This better be special. It is. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been guarded. We're still hiding, even though we're clearly able to be seen. Okay, doing good avoiding. Uh, this is a very bad idea, this is a very bad idea. Okay, good. He didn't hear us. Because I know snakes are good for their sense of smell, but are they? do they actually have any hearing at all? Because that I do not know. I got a new item here. It's Peach. Hey, where's the Peach? Didn't know you in this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. Right. So um, I guess when it comes to that, it's time to call things an end to this episode. So next time on Nintendo Wii's Cats, we're going to be exploring Tail Heights even further to hopefully find the windmill that we need to go to. See you guys then.